This episode of IBJJF TV is brought to you by Bull Terrier, Shock Doctor, and Defense Soap. You're watching IBJJF TV. Sponsored in part by the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation and BudoVideos.com. We're at the California State University of Dominguez Hills for the American Nationals. This is a two-day IBJJF Jiu-Jitsu tournament. Day one is Gi, day two is no Gi. I'm Budo Jake, and this is the American Nationals. Alberto, yet again we see you at the top of the medal podium. Is this a new trend? Uh, for sure, that's what I'm going for, you know, when I come in, I'm, I'm here to win, so. Last time we saw you was in Vegas, did you feel like the momentum's increasing? Yeah, for sure, I'm getting the rhythm of competing and getting back in the game, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready for, for next month for the Masters Seniors World, you know, so uh, yeah, one more step towards, uh, towards that. What was the highlight of your matches today? Um, I guess the finals, you know, because I got the submission, so uh, that's always good. All right, we'll keep it up, we'll see you next month at the Masters and Seniors World. Thanks so much. Tunkin, you are adding another gold medal to your collection. Congratulations, and tell me about your path to the gold today. Thank you, thank you one more time, guys. Yeah, we, I, fight, uh, I fought against Rodrigo Farias from Gracie Barra. He's a really tough guy, too, you know. And it was a, how I imagine it was at the fight. I swept him on the beginning of the fight, and stay on top, break his, his grip some, sometimes. And when I have time, I passed his guard. So I did 5-0. And I catch a Ezekiel choke, and I'm happy to, to submit him. Do you usually get Ezekiel's from the back, or do you get collar chokes, uh, bow and arrow chokes more often? Uh, whatever, depends off the, the guy um, did for me, you know. But I am um, supposed to, to try uh, chokes on the back, but the guy tried to defend, and normally I go to Ezekiel choke, but depends. And you didn't have a finals match, you had a gentleman's agreement. Why did you decide that with a guy who's not from your same team? Yeah, because Queixinho was from my academy in Brazil. He, he went to my academy with brown belt, and he trained a lot for two, almost three years. And I gave for him the black belt. So he's, he was my student for a long time, and he moved to America and stayed with Caio Terra. So he decided, you know, don't have fight. He's a good friend too, you know. Don't have you why we fight, I guess, you know. So I'm happy to, to who give me the, the title. And will we see you in the absolute division? Maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations again. Thank you, thank you. Bruno Antunes, congratulations on your medium heavy gold medal today. Tell me about your experiences today. Oh, uh, thank you. I had two tough fights, but I get on the end, finish the both fights, and I think it was a good result for the. My, my weight division and probably going to fight the, the open class too, you know, nice. and have a good fight. What submissions did you get today? I get uh, one from side control and one from back control. Were they both chokes? Yeah, both chokes. All right, well keep up the great work. I look forward to seeing you later in the absolute division. Okay, thank you. This is your train station. Your canvas. Your metronome. Your cable bridge. The steel threads of your past suspending the blueprints of your future. Your courtroom bench. You pass sentences to all those that accept mediocrity. You traverse the road less traveled. Every win, a friendly hitchhiker. Every loss, an unwanted stowaway. Your country. Defend what you have built. The natural ingredients in Defense Soap proven effective against grappling-related skin infections. Go to DefenseSoap.com to learn more. Mackenzie Duran, congratulations on your gold medal. Thank you, thank you so much. How did it feel to be out there today? It felt really good, you know, um, lately I haven't been doing the best I could in the tournament, so I was really just hoping to go in there and, 
even if I didn't win, um, just do my best, feel good with my jiu-jitsu, and thankfully I fought good and I won, so that makes it feel even better. <laughs> and what's next on your radar? Uh, next I have the ADCC trials in San Diego. Um, it's pretty hard to get invited, so I hope I can make my spot there already. And then after I'll do the World's No Gi. So. <laughs> the ADCC uh, Pro Trials are, gi are browns and black belts together. Do you prefer that or do you prefer going against other brown belts? I prefer the black belts, both together. The brown belts is good, but um, I think we have less pressure when we go against the black belts just because we have nothing to lose. It's just a good experience. And if we win or lose, it's just always nice. So um, I, I hope I, I'm glad it's a brown and black belt. <laughs> All right, well, keep up the great work. Thank you. AJ Asai Agazam, congratulations <laughs> on the brown belt absolute gold medal. Thank you, my brother. Tell me a little bit about your path to the gold. It was uh, not, as, it, it's not the way I wanted it to be. My weight, I had a, a little bit of issues with weighing in and, and being in the, the mood and, and level that I wanted to be when I started the division. Um, but that's what jiu-jitsu has always taught me, is sometimes you get thrown curveballs and it's about coming back and, and, and just overcoming the adversities, even during the matches. So in the tournament, I took a hit in our, my division and I said to myself, if there's one thing that jiu-jitsu has always taught me, it's to keep climbing up. So. Speaking of overcoming, I saw you in one of your matches, shoot after shoot after shoot, and you just didn't stop. What, where does this non-stop, where do, you, where do you get that not, not giving up? I think that, that is something that when you, I've always just been in my head since I was a kid. You know, sometimes your body will tell you you can't do anything else or you have no more left in you, but you, you, you have to, your heart is something that just tells you to keep going. No, no stopping, just keep going. And how much acai did you eat to prepare for this tournament? <laughs> I had to reduce my acai intake this week because I was so concerned about my weight. This is the heaviest I've been in my life, so uh, making weight was the toughest it's been for me. But, man, I was so fortunate to have Kyron and the, and the guys here to coach me, and, and I, I couldn't have done it without them in my division. And just the words of encouragement as I was competing and, the, and just having them there saying, come on, AJ, let's go, AJ, you can do this, man. And even when I fought, my first match in absolute was, guy was so big, man. He was so big, so, I mean, tough, strong as an ox and, and I just had their, their words of encouragement and, and that helped so much. So it made a big difference. Well, you did a great job and you deserve it. I like seeing you compete. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta see fun. you compete more. <laughs> Will do. <laughs>
was cramping, you know, I wasn't trying to stall or anything. I was the one who tried pushing him off many times. He didn't try to, to move. You know, I'm not saying that he didn't win the fight or anything. I'm just saying that he could have tried moving a little bit more, you know, than, than what he did, especially because I was with, with a cramp. You know, I know that he didn't, but, you know, he should have tried. In the last few seconds, you really opened up, and it looks like you almost got out of the 50-50. If you would have tried that earlier in the match, do you think you could have gotten something going? Uh, when I was doing that, like, it was like a case of uh, live or die, because, uh, like, if, if, he, I got, if he got out the, of the position, I would fight with one leg. You know, there would be no way that I could handle him with just one leg. He was stronger than me, heavier, you know, and... Uh, and he's a black belt, so they, they, you know, I, I don't think that it would be smart for me to try that. But I did try to do that before, but I think that, you know, like I, I'm seeing that I'm losing, so I'm like, my God, I can't lose, and gives me that, that fire to try to fight for it. But like, if you like, you saw after the match, my my leg was like done. You know, I I think I used too much energy at that time. You know. Well, you did a great job. A silver medal for a rooster weight in the absolute division is an amazing accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. Bruno Antunes, congratulations on a double gold today at the American Nationals. You had a great match against Samir Chantry and Kyo Terra. First, walk me through the submission against uh, Samir. It was a pretty tough fight. Uh, I was losing in the beginning. He took my back, and I got escape and sweep past the guard and submit. It was a really nice fight. It was everything's fast. I think it's finished with five minutes. So then your match against Kyle, things slowed down quite a bit. Tell me about that match. Yeah, it was slow on the time when he got the 50-50 guard. And uh, I got to um, use attention to pass the guard. I cannot open my game and let he, he sweep me easy. I, tr I was trying the, the leg lock and uh, he locked the legs. and. I think he's stalling and the referees gave to me the fight for me. Well, you did an excellent job. What's next for you? I don't know. We'll see. Probably, I don't know yet. Um, no gi, Pan Am's no gi, or I have age to fight in the Masters. No, maybe I'm going to fight the World's Master. I'm going to fight everything. All right. We look forward to following your career. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And uh, have a good one. Congratulations, Paolo Gilles Bell, for the team trophy for the Gi of the uh, American Nationals. How's it make you feel? Well, make me feel great. I think I, the whole team uh, did a great job. Uh, unfortunately, Saul Rebeiro and Shandy Rebeiro are not here because they have some family things to take care. But, you know, we came here, me, Antonio, and all the other coaches and instructors to represent. You know, and, you know, it feels great, man. It feels great to be the number one in the nation, you know. This year, as a second tournament, the second Nationals, we win, so, you know, no words, like, speechless. <laughs> Hibero Jiu-Jitsu and Gracie Baja both brought the most guys to this tournament. Do you think you're going to win the Nogi version as well? Well, I hope so. <laughs> we started with the right foot now, so let's keep on going, keep pushing, you know. And, yeah, yeah, we were, we were you know, uh, confident that we were going to do good because we have a good team. And let's see the Nogi, you know, Nogi is uh, another story, another chapter. You know? All right. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be here, back here. We're all back here again. Sounds good. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Upcoming IBJJF events include the Pan Jiu-Jitsu Nogi Championship on September 29th in New York. The Masters and Seniors World Jiu-Jitsu Championships in Long Beach on October 7th and streaming live on budovideos.com. The Asian Open IBJJF Championship in Tokyo on October 13th and 14th. And the London International Open IBJJF Championship on October 20th and 21st. For more information on upcoming IBJJF events, please visit IBJJF.com. <laughs>